Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we are going to use an MFRC522 RFID module that is connected to a relay module to turn a desktop computer on or off. Let's go! The code is basically taken from an RFID door lock tutorial that I saw a couple of days ago. I just made some tweaks here and there for it to accomplish my goal. So here are the things that we need. A bunch of male to female jumper cables, an RFID module, a relay module, an RFID card and an RFID key, an Arduino Uno board, a 9V to DC barrel jack cable and a 9V battery, and last but not the least, a screwdriver. Let me just get these things out of the way. Before you do anything else, download the MFRC522 library if you haven't downloaded it yet and make sure that the pin headers of your RFID module is already soldered. The link for the library and project file including the visual wiring diagram that I made is in the description below. After downloading the file and installing the library, we need to connect the RFID module to the Arduino first, then connect the relay. Now for the wiring part. Here's a visual wiring diagram that I made using Photoshop. So let's connect the 3.3 volts of the RFID module to the 3.3 volts of the Arduino. RST to pin 9 of the Arduino or anywhere from pin 2 to pin 13. GND or ground of the RFID module to the GND of the Arduino. IRQ, we leave it blank. MISO is connected to pin 12. MOSI is connected to pin 11. SEK is connected to pin 13 and SDA is connected to pin 10. Now that the first module is all wired up and connected to the board, let's open up the Arduino IDE software. Do some tests and get the UID of the card because we will need that later. Click on File, Examples, find the MFRC522 library and uh, dump info to get the UID of the card. Just to make sure that the library is properly installed, let's click on Sketch, then Manage Libraries. Then search for MFRC522. There it is. It says here that the version 1.3.6 is installed. Also, we can see on the code that it has a serial print line, so let's open up the Serial Monitor 2. Just click on Tools, then Serial Monitor. But make sure that the board is connected to the computer too. Click the check symbol to validate the code, then the right arrow to upload it to our board. Then place your RFID card near the module for about 10 seconds to get the info. There it is, that's what we need. Now let's test the key fob. And there, the code is working and we installed the library and wires properly too. After testing the code and module, close the IDE program and open a new one. Then click File and New. Then open and find the project file that you downloaded. Oh and yeah, we need to connect the relay module to the board. So here is the code. 
These are the two UIDs that we got earlier from the dump info. They will perform certain actions together with the relay depending on which one we place near the RFID module. Just like before, click the check to validate then right arrow to upload. Now let's test our code. And there you go, it's working properly. Once you are contented with the delay count, connect the ground or dark colored cable to the center terminal or comb. Then the bright colored cable to the normally open terminal. After testing, let's remove the USB connection, connect the battery, and test it again. Alrighty! Now we just need to remove the side panel of the desktop computer and turn off the power supply. Jeez, look at that filth on the filter. Locate the power switch pins that are connected to the motherboard. I think this is it. Yep, power SW or power switch. Remember how they are connected. In my case, it's positive on the right indicated by the arrow symbol and negative on the left. Disconnect the cables from the switch and connect the ones that are connected to the relay. The right colored one is positive and dark colored one is negative. After that, connect the 9 volt battery to the Arduino and turn on the power supply. Okay, here is the RFID card, place the card near the RFID module, and ta-da! To turn it off, we will use the RFID key. A word of caution, this key fob shutdown is just for demonstration. It is not safe to shut down your PC this way. There you go, let's try that again. Now here it is connected to another power source, this time on an adapter. The board is placed inside a botched project box on top of the SSD and the RFID module is taped on the removable thingy for the hot swappable drives. And the relay module is just hanging there. I'm going to turn the switch to turn on the Arduino board. Here is the card. We can see a green colored LED. I was not expecting this. Apparently, that green LED is from the Arduino and just being reflected by the LED bulb cover of the case. Not bad, eh? Now let's turn it off. Again, a word of caution. This key fob shutdown is just for demonstration. It is not safe to shut down your PC this way.
There you go, let's try that again. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.